Super excited. This is going to be the first time to see the boat. Get inside and take a look, see what's going on in here. Whoa. This time on Distant Shores, we also get to see how the hull is turned over, learn how a proper aluminum weld is made, and how the metal work is inspected for the highest quality welds. We're Cheryl and Paul Shard, hosts of the Distant Shores Sailing Adventure TV series. We've been cruising and living aboard for 33 years, documenting the sailing lifestyle. Join us for the building of our fifth boat, a custom aluminum Orion 49. Way back in 2012, we took our 49-foot sailboat right across France and filmed five episodes of our TV show about the 10-week journey. These are still amongst the most popular episodes of the Distant Shores TV series. You can download them on the Distant Shores website. This summer we did another French Canal trip for our Sail Away Weeks, which we documented for new videos. Revisiting the canals and taking in the gorgeous scenery did not disappoint. Just as we were finishing that trip, the hull of the new boat was rolled out of the factory upside down for the landmark operation of turning the hull. Just down the road from the KB factory, a large crane is set up to carefully raise the hull and gently roll it over. Back upright, she will be ready for the cockpit and cabin top and other welding operations that can only be done right way up. Welcome to Distant Shores and the first look at the new inside of Distant Shores 4. The hull has just been flipped over, I guess, about a week, a week or so ago. She is here in the shop in the Netherlands. Work progresses. This is uh, mid-September right now. Uh, we've had some people asking what the time scale is and what the real progress is since things come out a little earlier on the Patreon feed, but they're getting to work on the next pieces, which is be adding the cabin and cockpit in. But this is the interior and we can walk around in the new boat. I asked for a demonstration of the type of weld done to join the hull plates. They all fuse together like a plate. It was. It's a good weld. The goal is to weld the plates together all the way through. The result will be one continuous plate where the weld completely joins both sides. They have been butted up against each other, carefully aligned. Often a bracing plate is temporarily tacked on to line up the plates perfectly. Then tack welded together, meaning very small welds to hold the panels in place. These will be removed later. Now the other side has a V-shape cut in it to make sure the weld can penetrate more than halfway through the thickness of the plate. This weld is a straight, continuous weld. Next the plate is turned over and the bracing removed. A grinder smooths the tack welds flat and another groove is cut. Now the weld can penetrate, joining both plates and the first weld all together, making one solid unit. Finally the weld on the outside of the hull is ground down flush. From the outside of the boat, you can't see where the individual plates join. The welders prefer to work from the underside of the plates. That way the weld stays free of dust and debris, which gravity takes downward and away from the weld. All KB welders are highly skilled and certified to Lloyd standards.
We're so excited to be back to see the boat all finished and everything. What can you tell me what's been going on and what we've missed? Um, yes, last week we turned the hill and, um, and now we are uh, busy uh, to put the bulwark on the boat. We see it in a moment. So you've brushed down the outside, so yes. all the welds are... You can't even see the welds anymore, can you? Uh, no, you don't see them now. You see them only on the inside. So you took it outside and you turned it over? Yes. And then brought it back in again and put it up? Why yes. Why did you decide it was time to turn it? When, is, like, when the hull is completed? Is yes, when the hull is completed and uh, when you have to start with the bulwark and to put the cockpit in the boat and put the superstructure on the boat. Then of course yeah, you, of course you need it <laughs> <laughs> You need it uh, up, yes. Well, very exciting for us because it feels like a real boat. Yeah, now it's a real boat. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna check all the welds on the inside of the boat. Now, now it's light inside and you see everything to check them on their length. So which welds are we looking about? Uh, where the stringers and the frames are connected to the hull. Yeah, I see. All the, the small tack welds. And all the hull welds I can see are already... Yes, they are all finished. Holy heck. This is exciting, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> I'm Standing inside in our boat. boat for the first time. Yes. I can't believe this, oh my gosh. Standing inside Distant Shores 4. So you're going to give me a look around and show me how you inspect the quality of the boat here? Yes, what we're doing? yes. I'm busy uh, to uh, checking all the welds of the boat. We check every weld on the boat, if they are uh, long enough, if uh, there's not too much distance between uh, the welds. You can see here, uh, we weld uh, the hull completely from the outside and inside. Uh, we weld uh, the frames and the stringers uh, staggered. Here on this side, and then here from the other side. And we are checking every weld, uh, the beginning and the end. Uh, maybe we can take a look here. It's important that uh, it has to be welded all around the corner, like you see there. And I see. Because uh, a crack in a weld always starts on the beginning. So we are checking everything. We made this weld a little bit longer because it's an end. And they are double from both sides. Uh, we see here uh, around the tank that this is completely welded. Because uh, we have to uh, put pressure on the tanks when they are finished. So that's the next project when the tops yes. are put on? it is. So is that all they're missing, just the tops or also the connections? I guess? Yes, also the connections. Yeah. We have to weld them in. So is this a slightly different process because this boat is CE coded, which is yes. European certificate, European? Yes, something like that. It is. Yeah. So you, but your guys also are qualified to do Lloyd's register welding too, which is a slightly higher qualification. Is yes. That, is that right? Yes. All of our welders uh, are having a certificate of Lloyd's. And then because of that, they have to get. Were you saying there was a strategy for them to get recertified? Yes. Every six months, uh, they need an update. So they need uh, to have welded uh, an x-ray. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Take a look up in the bow too. Yes. So up in the bow here, we've got the floors here and the bunk and the forward and the bow thruster. Wow, it feels so solid with it just feels so solid already, it's amazing. Yes, yes it is. Like a rock. Hey, there's the old piece that I made, I welded. Yes, yes. 
on, on the front of that bulkhead, yeah. <laughs> you are welded the first welds of the boat. That wasn't that long ago. No. So how long does it normally take to finish a boat like this? Uh, the total building time? You for, mean from the you. casco? Yeah, from the aluminium work? Yeah. Yeah, about three months. Three months? Yes. So coming up next, obviously we have uh, the deck has to go on? Yes. And then that'll be in a few more weeks? And yes. the cockpit? We first do uh, the tanks, after that uh, we start uh, to place the cockpit. And uh, then uh, we put a superstructure on the boat. That's great. Yes. This is it. looking really great. Thank you so much for your hard work and dedication to making the quality of this. I can see here just all these clean welds. And now, can you point out a couple things you can see that still are needed to be done? Like, obviously the deck, but... Um, yes, I think we have. Uh, we have here one. The flange of the, this uh, frame. It's now welded from the other side. And we have to uh, make a V, we cut a V in it and we weld it from the top side. So you'll be going around and checking or the people working on it will also know anyway what they're missing. And yes, yes. And then you do a final inspection? Yes. Yes, the guys are welding it and uh, after that uh, I'm going to check everything. Thank you very much, that's fantastic. <laughs> You're welcome. All going well, our Holland deck will be completed by KB Alubau in November, and there is a slot available to build another one. It's our dream to help other sailors get going on their own expedition sailing adventures. We've got upcoming videos planned on rig design, power systems, interior layout, and more. Throw a comment below with your suggestions and thoughts. Thanks for watching. And if you're planning to attend the United States Sailboat Show in Annapolis, Maryland in October, we look forward to seeing you there. Check the Distant Shores website or the description below for where to find us at the show. And please come and say hello.